Ich träume und die Welt erzittert. Yes! Yes! <laughs> hey guys, Kongar here. I just want to preference this video by letting you guys know that I'm not using my Blue Yeti. It's making weird noises, and I'm instead using this mic. And it's not the greatest. It overmodulates a lot, but it gets the jobs done. So if it sounds different and a little bit overmodulated, that's why. Hey guys, Kongar here, and today is part three of tanks you need in your garage and the final part for now for the heavy tanks and we're going to be reviewing the vk 36.01 h because this tank i believe every new player every veteran player i think this is just a great tank if you want to learn some new skills this is a tank you need in your garage because it has a huge plethora of guns to choose from well eh, two it has two guns to choose from uh but that's 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 saying something because I mean this tank had two as well this one actually really had three tanks guns to choose from this one really had one gun to choose from but this one you have a choice this one really does have a choice like I told you on this one to use the 85 millimeter like it's simple as that use the 85 millimeters the better gun but on this one I can't really tell you which one is better it does have two guns it has this really good 75 millimeter and then a pretty good 88 millimeter um, one of them, like, one's 157 pen, 221 on its premium, that's ridiculously good. And much better than this thing's 145, and then 194. But this thing has better alpha, this thing has better pen, so, you know, it's a choice you have to make. And I uh, will be playing two games today, one with this gun, one with the other. And I will be explaining to you guys why I think this is a tank you need in your garage, especially if you're a newer player. Um, the KV-1 taught you how to side scrape and really use your armor. Angle, angle, angle. Come on, bait those shots. Get them to shoot you in the track. Come on, angle, angle, angle. Angle like this. Get those tier 5s and 4s to bounce off of you all day. Side scrape against tier 6s and even 7s. This tank touch to go hold down pretty much anywhere against any tank. Just go hold down. Boom. Done. You know? This tank is flat. It doesn't have a good turret. And its hull is, though it's thick, 100 millimeters, it's flat. So why do I say you need this? Well, because it's boxy, and it will teach you the boxy armor. There's a lot of tanks, especially Germans, which have boxy armor, and this will teach you how to use it because it's pretty actually good for its tier. And uh, you can advance that enemies driving like this, and when they shoot at you, they will tend to hit you in the side because you're moving so quickly because this tank is also pretty fast. If we take a quick gander over here, over yonder modules, as you can see, it goes 50.5 kilometers an hour, and its horsepower per ton is actually 15, which is phenomenal. So there's that. Then your gun, 8 degrees gun depression, not too bad. 15 elevation. The tracks, uh, those aren't actually terrible to train resistances, so that's nice. Then there's the turret, 370 view range, which means we could actually put optics on this thing if we chose to. Ammo rack, uh, you'll also learn that... Uh, you get ammo wrecked in the sides with Germans. Look at look how fast the shells travel, by the way. 1,170 with standard. 1,260 with premium. So that's also really good. 950 hit points. So 4.2 seconds to reload with the gun I'm using currently. So let's see. What, what kind of equipment do we want to throw on here? Let's throw on medium caliber gun rammer. Always. Let's throw on... I don't think we're going to need enhanced gun lane drive, honestly, on this thing. So we're going to throw on improved vents, and we're going to throw on coded optics. Those are my choices, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we don't need these. I was hunting absolutions in this tank the other day, and so I was going all out. Obviously, if you're a newer player, you probably can't afford these. Uh, maybe you can afford an automatic fire extinguisher by now, so I'm going to keep that on there. Um, that's quite a few premium rounds, but this tank takes a lot of ammo, so I will take it anyway. And uh, let's pull this thing out, shall we? Uh, we've got a brand new crew, not quite a brand new crew, oh yes, actually brand new crew, Carl Kraft, uh, I got him from one of the long hauls, you get a free crate, and I actually pulled this guy out, so I threw him in here, gonna train him up, and then eventually throw him either in my Tiger 2, or my Tiger 1, we will see, but for now, we have him in here, to demonstrate him, so uh, let's jump into, the, into a battle, and while we wait, I will show you this thing's armor characteristics, so you know exactly what we're gonna be attempting. 
and I will see you guys when we find a game. So here is the heavy, and as you can see, uh, 115 on the lower plate because of the tracks it has there. Lower hitting outside of that is 100. It's 100 everywhere on the front. The turret is not the greatest, as you can see when you're looking directly at it. Um, you can go through the the mantlet. You can go through the cupola. You can go through next to the mantlet. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest. But the the thing is the side armor. It's only 60, yes, but that means you can drive towards vehicles like this, and when you're going. 50 kilometers an hour, 40 kilometers an hour, it's a hard shot when they're aiming right here. By the time the shell reaches, it hits here and it bounces off, or it hits the tracks and it gets absorbed. Um, of course, this is armor you don't want to rely on, but you will get away with things, and it will forgive you every once in a while. And so, this is one of those tanks which isn't just going to be overpowered. It does need a little bit of smarts to use, and that's why I think this is a great tank to pick up in your early days after you've trained a little bit in the KV-1 and trained a little bit in the T-29. This is a great pickup, definitely for sure. And the tier 5 before this also has a huge plethora of guns for you to choose. And uh, so you have all sorts of, you'll have all sorts of experience with different kinds of guns. So that's really cool. And so that's why this is another tank I do recommend. Rezaini, let's see, we are bottom tier. Bottom tier, but this is a good gun. So hopefully we'll be able to show this gun off. That's really all I really want to do, is show off the gun, show off some bounces. I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, he bounced 2,000 damage. But I want to like bounce one or two. Just to show it off, honestly. Like I said, this is more of a review of the tank. So we're reviewing it. And I, I don't want a flashy game. I just want a game that demonstrates what it can do. So we're going to get up to some speed. Um, you're going to see just how quickly this thing can get up to speed. For a heavy tank, this is very, very mobile. And it is, in fact, a heavy tank. Where do we want to go? Um, I don't know where I want to go. I just want to drive in a straight line just to show the speed. <laughs> but let's go up here, I guess. And uh, find something. This nice camo. Got the NATO camo on. Looks pretty pretty. Looks pretty pretty. Um, it's assault. We're defending, which means we have the castle. The castle is ours, so we may as well just roll up into it and use it. But we're bottom tier, so we don't want to be on the front. Let's find a heavy tank. How about this VK? He's gonna be my friend. We're gonna go where he goes. We go. I think. I think that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna play the supporting role for sure. What do we need to get around to penetrate? Pretty much just the ISM we're going to have issues with. And there he is. And he is fully upgraded. You can tell because he's got 1500 health. So he's going to be an issue for sure. Unless we decide to dab into our A button. Our premium rounds I think may happen. You're getting clipped out son. Enemies are capturing the base. What is it exactly? A Hellcat. Hellcat. And uh, oof, he got smoked by the Scorpion G. Okay we've got two tanks coming up. Dreadnought. And an IS. We have this VK on our left. So we are going to give him the support he needs to win this flank. Alright, that's what we're going to do. But first things first, we're gonna... Oh, come on. Oh boy. That guy's rolling around. We get a shot on him. He's trying to go for the flank, it looks like. Is that the Dreadnought? It's the IS. Where is the Dreadnought? There's the Dreadnought. We gotta, we gotta hold our ground here. Hold our ground here. No, we gotta go forward so we don't get hit in the side by everyone else. We have to fight this IS. Fight him. Fight him, fight him, fight him. We keep putting shots into him. Sorry, bud. Kinda don't wanna get hit by the dreadnought if that makes any sense. He fired. Oh, gosh darn, how did that miss? I'm gonna aim this one manually. Finish him off. Change my attention to you. Put a shell into him. Pull back. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back. He bounces off of us. There's the armor we were talking about. Boom, he gets rammed to death. Perfect. Perfect. Then we can start by putting shells in this guy. Good. Now we can go after this guy. We bounced one off of him, unfortunately. Oh, boy. It's a regular KV-2. This is who we need help with, though. He's on fire. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Boom! Yes, he misses, he misses, and then we finish him off here. Down he goes. Never going to change our attention. You see how good this gun is? I am auto-locking. I know it's a little bit lazy, but, like, this gun is working. This gun is working really, really well. Now we have to go after this this, kid, this guy. All right, we have the health to take a hit from him if he doesn't penetrate us. So we're going to side-scrape, use our 60 millimeters of armor, get him to shoot us. There we go. He knocks out our engine and our... Well, that's fine. We don't need our engine. We just need to kill him. We just need to kill him. That's what we need to do. We have a brand new crew. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is not good. I tried to track him there. No good. Already don't hit me. Already don't hit me. This is not good. We have to... Come on. Reload, 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 reload. One more shot. One more shot. 
There we go. He's down. Now we change our attention to the ISM. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to take care of him. I'm pulling in to avoid the artillery. We don't know where he is. It's a big one too. Okay. Now we're going to drop down this side. Because, oh yep, yeah, there's Arnie. Because those guys are going in from the front. So we should have his side or rear over here. That's what we want to do. He might be turned around. If he is, he's probably going to shoot us. But anyway, you saw us get... Oh, there he is. That one bounce we needed and we did get it. We're going to load some premium rounds for him. Because we're not going to do anything to him. No, we still can't do anything. We're too slow at this point too. Unless he keeps driving. If he keeps driving up, we might be able to... No, nah, we're not even going to... No, no. There we go. We don't want to die. We'll just let him die. And all that's left is the UDES. UDES has 20 millimeters of armor, which means we can overmatch. So it doesn't really matter what shell we're using. So we're going to switch over back to our AP. He's going to spot us first, so we're probably going to die. But as you can see, all we did was support that VK, allow him to win, which is what happened. We have three kills. He has one. That's four. So it was four versus two. We had the type there at 1.2, and he did just get a kill. So that's all we did was just keep the big tier 8 alive. That's what you got to do when you're your bottom tier, guys. Just be that supporting role. Take some hits for him, which we did. We took the hits from the KV-2. Um, then we killed the Juggernaut, so... Or the Dreadnought, not the Juggernaut. Juggernaut would be a good name, too, though. Not gonna lie, where is this guy? Lava Shell over there. We're not gonna get to him in time, I don't think. Game results as you can see we made 33,000 credits without a premium account granted we did have this going um, so if we go here operation awards 15,000 we still would have made 18,000 credits guys without a premium account that's not too shabby at all um, and we scored top and this guy scored top with this guy like I said all we did was keep him alive and it worked out so that was pretty nice anyway we're gonna jump into another game but this time with the 88 to hopefully show that gun off that gun the 88 is much better when you're top tier um, the 75, if you're going to be fighting 8s and 7s, the 75 is so good. But, if you're going to be top tier, the 88 is disgustingly good. So, we're going to be throwing that thing on. Alright, throwing this gun on. 144 pen, 194 premium. Sorry, 145, 194, and 44 pen on its HE, but only 270 alpha. So, HE might not be that viable, but at least you have it. It's good for resetting bases. Um, so how do we want this loaded out this time around? Let's throw, we'll throw 14 of these things on, and we'll throw 5 of these things on. I think that's a, a fair number. 44,000. We just made that in our last game with this tank, so yeah, there we go. Let's uh, jump into a game with this. And I should have thrown repairs on this, just just so we uh, won't, wouldn't be in that awkward situation like we were against that KV-2. Oh well. Uh, we'll have to do that some other time later, I guess. Anyway, I'm saving this crew for probably the Tiger one anyway, so we may as well just let it train up. And now I'm just rambling to you guys, even though I could literally just cut this out until we get a game. But we find a game anyway, Liberty Fallen. So this is up to Tier 7, I believe, which means that we... This is, the, this is a good gun. This gun can work decently against Tier 7s, very well against Tier 6s. It just doesn't perform well against Tier 8s. So, as long as it's only up to tier 7, this gun is going to be the better one. So, let's see what we've got. In fact, we're top tier. This is where the, this gun is awesome. So, they've literally... They gave me a great game last time where I got to fight 8s. I got to support an ally. I got to use my gun against a couple KV-2s and an Amex 5100. And now, they give me this game where I get to use the gun against same tier. So, this is great. You're going to really see how well this gun performs in this kind of matchmaking. And uh, why I prefer this gun over the other one when I'm top tier. Look at the reload. Is it under... Six seconds without brothers and arms. It is. It's under six seconds. I don't have brothers and arms. I don't have food. If you feel inclined to do that, um, yeah. So you could probably get this thing down to like 5.6, 5.5 seconds reload. That's really good. But now you really see the speed because we're on hard terrain. We can go 50.5. Will we reach that before we start going up the hill? 50. I would say we're at about 50.5. And now we're going slightly up a hill. But yeah, we're gonna go this way. What do we have to worry about? Their Citadel has the same gun as us. And then, of course, the KV-2 is always scary. Um, Boilermaker has a great gun. We can't really penetrate the Thunderbolt or the M4. We may have to load premium for those, unfortunately. 
Well, other than that, I think we're pretty good. We can pen everything here except those two mediums. The two mediums we can't penetrate. I know, it's, it's weird. Welcome to America. You know, AT1 Heavy. We're gonna use the fact that we are German and snipe a little bit. And, okay, look at this. Not such a bad aim time, for sure. And, uh... Is he there? No, we missed, unfortunately. Oop, T67, I like shooting T67s. Oh, well. No shots on them. Um, they have a huge presence to my left, so I almost don't really want to go there. So instead, we're going to shoot this guy. And watch how much... Ready? Where does health go? That was a low roll. <laughs> but his health is still gone. Um, we, are, we have lost the left side, so I definitely am going to be a little bit cautious about that. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't commit there. We bounce off the top part of him. Can we get another shell off? Yeah, we can. He's slow. Nice, nice, nice there. Can we get another one? Can we get another one? Look how quickly this thing melts. There's another one. Unfortunately, it went low. Alright, Citadel. Citadel Tiger. Citadel Tiger. Come on. Shell out. Boom. Good hit, good hit, good hit. He's got the same health as us, same gun as us. Alright, now we're going to pull back and get ready for these guys. Get ready for the Onslaught. Um, I've decided I wanted to fight them here instead of up there because from here, I can fall back a little bit better and I was still waiting for my team to show up. Something I do a lot of is going ahead of my team, and it gets me killed so often. So I was sitting there, I was willing to snipe for a little while, just waiting to get uh, some reinforcements, and I think it was the right play there for sure. For sure it was the right play. Put a shell on the knife, I finish him off, he goes down, nice, nice, nice. And uh, let's go after these guys now. Um, dun -dun -dun. I don't understand why you wanted to ram into the back of me. Like, I appreciate teammates, but I don't appreciate teammates like you. There we go, finish him off. Thunderbolt. Uh, that's the tank I didn't want to fight. That is the tank I did not want to fight. Oh, we missed him. That's okay. We've got a fast reload. We'll we'll pick it right back up. Put a shell into this guy, perhaps. Now we got to finish you off. Get the kills, honestly. Get the kills. Pay the bills. Get the kills. Pay the bills. Can we roll high on this guy? Nah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. We're going after you now. We're going after you. Put a shell in. This Cromwell is, leaves a little bit to be desired, but he's probably pretty new at the game, so it's all good. Put another shell on him. Like, look how quickly this thing melts the enemy. It's really good. Really good. All right, we just got to fendagle our way up here. Put a nice, easy, cheap, reliable shot into him. Probably load some gold for the Thunderbolt. Actually, he's giving us plenty of his side. One in like that. Can we go through that part? Nope. We're going to load premium. One premium shell is all I'm hoping we'll need. No, he goes down. It doesn't matter. So instead, we're going to shoot the premium round into this guy. We have it loaded. May as well use it. And then we'll go straight to standard. There we go. Nice, easy, cheap, reliable shot there. We're not spotted anymore, I don't think. But I think he's still going to be there. Wait a couple seconds. Boom. No, he's not there anymore. KV2 should deal with him, I figured. So uh, maybe he won't, though. We shall see. Yeah, he's, he's dealt with them. Their KV-2 is about to shoot me, actually. Um, now that I think about it. So let's uh, cut underneath his gun. This water should be protection. There we go. We're no longer spotted. Wolverine. KV-2 finishes him off. Do we have any shots? We don't. Unless he pulls forward. He's foolishly pulling forward. We get a nice free shot into him there. And he's tracked. Let's hope he's still there. We're going to put another couple shells there into that general direction. No, he's not there anymore. We're going to move on. We're actually going to go back towards our base because I don't think Artie is going to be able to deal with the Wolverine. The Wolverine is derp. Okay, the Wolverine is derp, and they still have a Boilermaker. So we have to get back to base. We've kept our hit points, which is good. So this should be what we need to win this game, are the hit points we have. The KV-2, though, is a game-changer on the enemy team. He can just end me in one shot. Luckily, though, even if he pens me with HE, most likely he will not kill me. But there's, first, we have to deal with this Wolverine. I thought about loading HE for him because he's low on health. But um, I think I don't want to risk it, so we're going to just gonna load AP. And snap that one because I had a feeling he was going to pull behind, which he did. Um, but we're not going to go left. We're going to go right in front of his gun. Yes, I know, that's a little bit scary. But that's because the KV-2 would have shots if I went around the left side of this building. So I decided to go on the right side. Risk him hitting me instead of risking the KV-2 getting a lucky shot. I would rather take this than a 152, of course. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Now, one thing we have over the KV-2 is view range and another KV-2. So we are going to use that. I have optics on. 
even if he has optics, he's not going to outspot me. He's got 300 and, what is it, 50 base view range? That's really bad. So uh, we are going to use that to our advantage. And I think we're going to go down and around this way. I think this is the, the best option. Uh, their Boilermaker, he has a Boilermaker. I don't know if he's AFK, but regardless, even if he's AFK, he could show up at any moment. And he can spot us, and he can distract my KV-2 friend. So we've got to be careful about that. We also don't have six cents, and something tells me their KV-2 does, because he was reacting to whenever he was spotted. So I think he's got six cents. So the big scary thing right now is if the KV-2 is shooting AP, because he can penetrate me. If he hits me flat, he can penetrate me with AP, and then he can kill me with his next shot. If he's shooting HE, it might take him three shots to kill me. So I'm not too worried about him if he's shooting HE. Now, I've decided to go this way, because I kind of want to keep him... If he does appear, I want to keep him directly in front of me, because this is where I have my most armor. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, we also have this overpass to protect us if he's on our left. And uh, I'd like to come on this side. Last time we were spotted, we were on the other side. So, okay, their Boilermaker is not AFK. This was my fear. We gotta get back to base now. Just turn back. We will 1v1 the KV2 later if we have to. For now, we've gotta fight this guy. In fact, he's he's delving into the, the, uh, the valley. So we are gonna get into a position to shoot him, actually, where the KV2 cannot shoot us. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, maybe our KV2 actually one-shots him here. That would be really, really helpful. Because right now all I really want to do is win this game. So if he can one-shot him right now, that would be really cool. But we don't have the gun elevation. M44 finishes off, unfortunately. But this guy is a little bit tunneled. There we go. Put a shell into him. Hopefully this guy advances towards us. We want to get into a position where Artie doesn't have shots on us. So I'd like to cut in this way now. Um, I don't want to fight these guys in a 3v1. I want to fight these guys one by one by one by one. That's what I want to do. Um, but that may not happen now. We're kind of in a bad spot. I think I gotta go up this way to really get this going. I'm, I'm tempted to load some premium rounds too. I am. I'm very tempted to load some. I think that might be a good option at this point in the game because I really do want to win this game. But we've got really good DPM and we're still full health, so let's use that to our advantage. Uh, the issue is the KV2 can pop up in front of us at any time and that's not something I want to have happen right now. So I really want to just execute this this Boilermaker as quickly as I can. Get him out of this game. Get him out of the fight. There he is. He's just going to keep running from me, I think. But we're, we're just going to go for it. I think this is the only thing we can do is go for it. There we go. We bounce one shell from him. Notice how we're, dri we're, how we're driving towards him kind of at an angle. Dang it! KV2 was exactly where I needed him to not be. Ah, bogus. Uh, he was exactly where I needed him to not be. He could have been anywhere else on the map and we would have been fine, but he was in the one spot I needed him to not be, and he does hit the shot, which is unfortunate. Unfortunately. How to win World of Tanks, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen it here first, folk. You sit in your spawn and don't move, and you win the game. Well, I, hopefully I showed this tank tank off to you guys so you can see what it can do. You can see it shredded. Unfortunately, like I said, the, the KV-2 just got lucky. And by lucky, I mean he sat in his cap circle the entire game and won the game. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, Smash, Smashing Body 32. I'm giving you um, some claps of my hands because you are a phenomenal player. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, this tank. It's a good tank. It's a good tank. I like the tank. I think it's a, I think I want a three market. And uh, I, I think I think you guys will enjoy it too. And uh, you saw we made money again, so we're making money in this tank because we're not shooting premium rounds. You know, you're dishing out damage. Your tank can block some shots. You saw how we blocked the boiler maker when we were driving at him. It was doing doing right off of us. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. Next, when we continue this series of tanks, you need new garage. We're gonna jump over to medium tanks, tiers five, six, and seven. So I will see you guys later. Take care, everyone, and peace out.